My name is Astrid Glocke. I'm an Associate Professor of Humanities in the Department of Comparative Cultural Studies here at Northern Arizona University. And I teach a class called uh, Introduction to Cinema and Visual Culture, Cinema 101. And uh, this semester we have um, been fortunate to be able to try out blended learning for the first time. That, that has allowed us to do, um, to really focus on some of these higher learning tasks in class. And we've discovered that engages the students more and it engages us more as instructors in a larger class. I do not have to exhaust myself three hours every week um, delivering, re-delivering a lecture that I've um, in some way or another um, delivered last year. So it's, it's freed me up to focus more on, on actual student projects and uh, it, at the end of the day, I still have energy left for some of my research too. I'm not physically exhausted as I used to be after lecturing for two to three hours. What's worked best and what's exceeded all our expectation is the, what we, we call student compliance. Students are actually doing the work we ask them to do. Where traditionally that we would send them home, read these 20 pages, there'll be a quiz next time in class, and then the lecture will build on this material. Half of them wouldn't have done it no matter what we, we did in class the next time. And in this class, they're doing it. The blended design has given them the time and the flexibility to actually complete the assignments, complete the readings, go online, take the quiz, come prepared for then the next class, where we then don't spend any time on that content, but on processing it, on discussing it, on doing something with it. And that, to, that really has exceeded all my, my most optimistic expectations for this class. The biggest pro of the blended learning design is that the students are engaging with the material, they're engaging with their learning process, there's a lot of reflective time built in also, and it's, it's really showing the quality of their learning, it, it's showing in the quality of their learning. Um, the biggest um, con for me is really the time to make all this possible. It's a, it's a steep learning curve, it takes a lot of extra time. Um, I've been reassured it gets easier, so I'm going to keep going at it. But it's, it does take a lot of time to set up the initial uh, design, to redesign a, even an existing class, and then uh, go from there. Um, I would tell my colleagues, give it a try. Um, venture out. Uh, you'll just be surprised how engaging it can be for you, as you see how your students uh, are engaging with the material in a whole new way, in, in a way that expands also your horizon and what you do and why you do it because we're all about quality we're about the quality of the education and i think we can further that with with blended learning um, the one toolkit i could point out that has been most helpful is the um, web page by the university of central florida they have a lot of worksheets a lot of um, a lot of vocabulary it, it requires some vocabulary to uh, redesign some of the activities so that's been the most helpful tool for me so I'd say don't be afraid and also seek out all the help that's there and, and accept all the help that's going to be offered to you. You will, you will be overwhelmed by the help that e-learning and other um, resources on campus will, will provide for you.